Oh, there's lots of things uh, you'd have to make a rhyme of it uh, that happened, and uh, I don't know, uh, I'm not very good at that. I can think of it, I think, and get to doing it. And at the time uh, the lads were around with the post and shield, that was my name. Which, who was this? Uh, were you left there or in uh, Weber. Weber. Were you down there that time when that happened? Do you, uh, you remember the, uh, how it happened? Well, the, there was a gam on the right at the top, in the, se in the center of that big shoot. And uh, they wanted an island. There was an island at the top. And uh, they were to let them down. They snubbed, I think, and was taking the slack from the, uh, from the boat. So uh, they go down to this uh, jam. And there was no, uh, you, you can't hold a boat again then, Jim. I don't care who's See, they can't come like a piece like this. Yeah. And Paddy told them, if the boat come here, to catch the gam, gam and hold. But if it went to the side, to not catch the gam, because it would take them out of their hands, you see. Well, they went up and down two or three times. And I guess the lads was getting a little scared. Oh, yes. Uh, and it come to the side like that, and they reached and catched it in the box, they turned like that. And the fair was, was in the boat, paying out the slack, you see, mm -hmm. letting down a rope from a tree. And mm -hmm. uh, when the boat went sideways around them, the, boy, the rope took a half inch around his leg, and he drove it right there, hanging in the chute. Yeah. The boat went on through, and Paddy jumped it. But uh, he said there was no, nothing he could do, and it was leaving one chance for the others. And he went into the big cellar, and the water pounded on his legs and held him in there nice little while in the cellar. Yet. But he got kicked out, and he was pretty well done when he yes, got out. Uh, yes, he was getting his pretty well. And uh, <coughs> Weber, before they went into the second cellar, Weber jumped. But he never made sure. He you think he hit something? He must have went down. They were a family in the water, a week or so after, yeah. two yeah. weeks. Well, uh, Arthur Thompson was in it, and he was in there on the middle seat, and he just sat there. And when she went into the last cellar, it just upended them. The bow went right on there, and the stern come right up like that. And it threw him out, and the boat come down, and the gun hit him here. Knocked the wind out of him, and he just floated like a, a yeah, ball. So he, he, he made the best run of all. He just floated on the water like a ball, the wind was out of him. And uh, he can't swim. He can't swim, but when, uh, Eddie Madigan was down at the foot with the boat, and he got up as far as he could with the swift water. And he watched him. And he said, he was just, yeah. when the boat hit Get him, him, he just floated no. like a rubber Get ball. Him. But just when he got to him, he was starting, the wind was starting to come back to him and he was starting to go down. Oh. That's what they did. The boat hadn't hit him and knocked the wind out of him, did it? This was Arthur Thompson. But the Leclerc, they went back then for to get, they didn't know Leclerc was there. They went back then for to get the, the there was one man still on the jam. He, he jumped it. Yes, I mind of that. Story. Green from Denver. Yeah. The man that was, uh, in the bow, the man that should be the last man to leave the boat. He jumped on the jam. Well, there he was on there, and they had to get him off. He'd be pretty shaky too with it. So they went back to pull the boat, the, the rope up, and the one boat crew couldn't pull it. So, so they, got, uh, they got there and well, the boat body wasn't broke. Eh? They were the bone his body wasn't broke. Yeah. He kneeled. Oh, no. It took the two the boat to pull him back up, and when he come up here, it was the clear on the rope. Uh, there was a jam in the lower pitch one time. 